Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to bless you with uh, kind of a short little video. <laughs> uh, well, maybe it is, I don't know. We'll see. So, um, I, I got to admit that where I live is a I'm pretty fortunate to live here because things happen in my yard, right out here in my yard, that, you know, are interesting. Sometimes they do. They happen a lot, actually, but a lot of times I don't even have a camera with me. I try to keep one handy, but, you know, sometimes I don't. So I, I, I am fortunate that I do have things. There's wildlife walking through, you know, all the time, moose and fox and... Oh, turkeys. I had a turkey here one time. Anyway, I'm real fortunate to live where I do and where to uh, get some interesting pictures. So in that said, uh, about, I don't know, last Saturday, a few days ago anyway, I was working here in the studio on some photos. And all of a sudden outside, there's this loud, raucous noise, and it's just... I mean, it's it's really distracting, and then I think, man, that's pretty doggone close to here. So I stepped outside and uh, <laughs> walking in my yard, right here in front of the studio, was was a pair of sandhill cranes, and uh, we've had them land here before, and I haven't had a camera, but these sand sandhill cranes, if you're not familiar with them, are loud. Oh man, can they make a squawking noise? And you hear them when they're flying over, you hear them a mile away. They're just louder than heck. And anyway, that's what I was hearing. So when I stepped outside, they, you know, they kind of looked up at me and, and they move a lot. They don't stand still, uh, even on the ground. They very rarely are, are not moving. So they were walking around looking at me and they were, didn't seem to intimidated by me. So I stepped back inside and and, uh, and luckily I had my uh, the D200 with the uh, 200 to 500 lens you know it was it was laying here on the table so it wasn't quite set up the way I wanted it and it only took me a few seconds but yeah anyway I took it I took that time I took about 20 seconds and got it you know the ISO right and all the settings as good as I could and I stepped outside. I'd have no. Tr I didn't have a tripod on it at the time, so I stepped outside and, and I started taking pictures of that uh, of those sandhill cranes. I, I just tried to focus on one of them because I could get close at 500 millimeter. One filled the frame, and I did, I thought I would be better to do that. So that's basically what I did, and I shot. Oh, I shot quite a few pictures, and I got some good ones. I got to admit, though, that the D200 has trouble with this, has has trouble with this lens. It just, it's hard to get it to focus sometimes, especially when the subject is moving around. And, and I lost focus um, many times in the pictures I took. My, my success rate wasn't too dang good with, on this shoot here with this camera. And plus it was dark. Well, it was it was morning. It, it was light out, but there was heavy gray clouds and it was raining and it was just a, a not a good day uh, for light. And so I think um, I did jump my ISO up to 800, but even then I was shooting at a real slow shutter speed and handheld. And uh, so as a result, a lot of my pictures were had had softness and blurriness, uh, some of it from camera shake, some of it from uh, subject movement, because like I said, they don't hold still. But I continued shooting and I, I don't know how many I took. I'll put a, I'm gonna try to put a screenshot up of all the pictures I took here and so you can see how many I actually took. But uh, anyway, like I said, my success rate wasn't real good. But it was fun, and it, they were loud. They just honked and carried on, and 
man. And they walked across right in front of me here, and they walked over to the other yard, and then they came back here. And, and so I, I did get some pretty interesting shots. And the color, because of the cloudiness and the dull skies and the rain, it was, color was great. And that's my saving grace on these pictures. Uh, I think I might have got six that were pretty doggone sharp, the rest of them. Were, if you look close, yeah, you'll see some softness. But anyway, we had fun, or I did. I don't know if the cranes did, but they didn't seem to be too bothered by me. They never did fly. They went across the road after a while, but they never flew. Just kept on honking. <laughs> so anyway, I did get some shots. I'm going to put them up here right now. You'll see that uh, it was it was a pretty morning, even though it was rainy. Now, uh, I, I said I held, had it handheld, out, and it was, but I was able to kind of rest the camera against the studio wall, and also there's some I got some uh, posts on the porch, and I used that for a rest. Uh, I that's my, that's what saved me for the most part, but. It was a great time, and, and I, I do consider myself fortunate to have things like that happen here because otherwise it, my photography life would be pretty dang boring. <laughs> so uh, I, I'm, I'm always happy to get things happening that's worth, that, it, that I can make interesting pictures of. So I hope you enjoyed those pictures. Uh, I did print one. And I got it right here, and I'm going to show it to you here. There it is. This is, I chose this. This was the very last, this was the very last shot I made of those cranes on that day. And I love it because of the environment. Uh, it's just the way they're walking. And also the, the subject itself. It, it's a really good representation of that bird that I saw. It's a little blurry. You'll see one of the leg is in the air and it's blurry because it's moving. Like I said, they don't hold still. But I like the environment. Now this was uh, taken from my porch patio. And like I said, I think I used the post to uh, uh, steady the camera a little bit. So this was uh, taken, Sand Hill Crane taken July 14th, 2024. Camera was the D200, lens and Nikon 200 to 500 at 500 millimeter, and that's 750 millimeter if you figure in the crop sensor of this camera. Exposure, here it is, folks, 1 40th of a second handheld using the post as a support. Uh, Aperture f5.6 and ISO 800. So you can see by those figures that it, it was pretty dark out there. But it came out real nice. If you look closely, you'll, you will see a little softness. Not much, but a little bit in on the bird. Uh, I think that's the main uh, softness in this picture is the bird. Other than the, the foreground tree is, is out of focus because it's a lot closer to me than the bird is. Now this was, this bird from where I was standing is probably about a hundred feet away. So it's quite a ways away across my yard. Anyway, I like the picture. It came out really nice. I like the colors in it. And I'm gonna keep that picture. <laughs> Somewhere, someday someone will say, oh, look at that. <laughs> anyway. I had fun, and I was happy to make those pictures. Uh, I, I uh, like I said, I got ten or eleven that I showed you here. Uh, that's about the limit of the sharpest ones there. But I, I did take a lot more than that. It's, it just, I just had problems with the focus on with the two hundred, the D two hundred. Oh, and if you want to see those pictures, um, you know larger on a, on a real in a real gallery uh, i'll put a link down below to my smug mug gallery smug mug gallery where you'll see all of those uh pictures <laughs> so all right you guys 
have a good week. I'm going to close it right here. And you guys uh, keep on taking pictures. I, I'm hoping that you'll get to see some amazing things here in the in the near future. But you got to have your camera with you or nearby anyway to get photos of them. So remember that always try to keep a camera with you. Don't matter what camera it is. Any camera is going to take good pictures, mostly. <laughs> anyway, you guys take care, and I'll see you next time. And thanks for coming by, and thanks for all the comments I've been getting, and the likes, and, and the subscriptions, too. Thanks a lot. You guys take care. We'll see you again next time. Bye now.